Welcome back. One final point before we go tonight. 100 million innocent people died at the hands of brutal communist and socialist regimes in the 20th century. But by all means, let's bring socialism back. 28-year-old Alexandria Ocasio-Cortez, a self-avowed socialist, upset 10-term Democratic Congressman Joe Crowley in New York's 14th Congressional District in the primary this past Tuesday. Why on earth would Democrats be celebrating the victory of a socialist politician in America? Have you liberals ever read a book? A history book, perhaps? You do know what the word socialism means, right? All this free stuff, this 28-year-old socialist, Ocasio-Cortez, is promising. Free health care, free college, free housing, free paycheck. Who do you think is going to pay for that? Oh, I know. Wall Street. We're going to tax Wall Street to pay for that stuff. Other people's money. What happens when you run out of other people's money to pay for your socialist paradise? What happens when the rich people aren't so rich anymore? Then what? Oh yeah, then the Soviet Union happens. People eating shoes and standing in line for hours for a loaf of bread. Venezuela happens, where there's no toilet paper and citizens have lost an average of 20 pounds each in the past year due to starvation and lack of food. Cuba happens, where the amazing universal healthcare system is so great you have to bring your own blankets and light bulbs to the hospital. The surgical instruments are rusty and the elitists travel to other countries for their healthcare. So let's go back to my original point. Where on earth has socialism ever worked? And don't tell me Scandinavia. Denmark discontinued their universal basic income experiment because it didn't work. And Sweden went back to some capitalism decades ago after their economy was in danger of stalling out. Is that what you liberals want here? A government-run healthcare system like Britain's? Where the government forced babies like Charlie Gard and Alfie Evans to die, even though their parents didn't want them to die, but the government didn't want to spend any more money on them. Is that what you want here? Do you like when US military veterans die waiting for care at the VA? Because the VA is a disaster, and that's the closest thing we've got to socialized healthcare here in the US. Listen, I get why Democrats in New York were tired of Congressman Joe Crowley what have the Democrats done to help working people in the past 10 years? Nothing. Skyrocketing health care premiums and deductibles thanks to Obamacare, high taxes, a stagnant economy. But the number of Democrats celebrating a socialist winning instead, winning that election, is scary. A socialist politician in America is not a breath of fresh air. She is championing one of the deadliest ideologies the world has ever known. And that's my final point. You can reach me on Twitter at Liz underscore Wheeler. If you like the show, please send me an email at oann.com slash contact. In the meantime, catch us here tomorrow at 9 p.m. Eastern. And until then, have a good night. Want to see more videos like this? Click on the link below and subscribe to One America News on YouTube and call your cable provider and kindly demand that One America News is added to your lineup. Call and subscribe today.